My name is Joanna Freitas. I am executive board member at EDP Generation. And I've just come back from Sharm El Sheikh from COP27. So if you'd like to know what has happened there and what is the implication for business, listen to the following video. So in 1992, in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, the United Nations adopted a framework convention for climate change. And the signatories of this convention have pledged to take action to reduce greenhouse emission and also to adapt for the implications of climate change that has already happened. Now, at the moment, we have 198 countries that have signed and ratified this uh, convention. And every year, the governments of these uh, countries, they get together uh, in a forum to make decisions about climate change. And this is called the Conference of the Parties. So that's the meaning of COP, COP. Now, uh, we've had a number of important decisions taken in the past in different COPs, uh, starting, for example, with the Kyoto Protocol in 1994, where there's been a commitment of nations to decarbonize for example, the, United, the European Union uh, at that point uh, committed to reduce emissions by 8% by 2012, where in fact they exceeded that goal uh, and they reduced it by 12%. Then we had in Cancun in 2010, a pledge from the global north to compensate the global south with a hundred US billion dollars a year to help them transition from uh, fossil fuels to green uh, energy. Now, of course, we have fallen short, sadly, uh, of that pledge, and we will uh, address uh, that uh, in the coming video as well. Um, and then we have the very famous 2015 Paris Agreement, where nations came together and they pledged to take action to reduce global warming by well below uh, two, 2 degrees Celsius or even 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now, why is this important and why do we hear so much about 1.5 degrees? Um, with our current policies, our current way of life, if we project that towards the end of the century, we'll be living in a world that will be four degrees warmer. And that is a very different planet than the one we're inhabiting right now. Uh, with four degrees warming, that means that the sea level will rise by 2.5 meters. In turn, that will mean that about 600 cities will be uh, submerged. A number of small island states in the Pacific will also disappear. Uh, a number of places will be so hot they will be uninhabitable. Um, and we expect to have about one billion climate migrants with all the social consequences that that entails. So we are really heading to not only um, climate disaster, but also a human disaster. So this is important at a level of the survival of our own species and of our own ways of life. Now, if you'd like to know what happened this year in Sharm el-Sheikh on COP27, uh, watch the next video.